Well, I mean, I don't think you can look at it in that light. What he has done, he's physically put himself in a better position to play at a high level. I thought he made a hell of a jump from his freshman year to last year. I mean, that was a nice jump to think about. He didn't play a whole lot of minutes because he couldn't stay out of foul trouble. Then he learned how to, how to stay out of foul trouble and stay on the floor. And his numbers were, he benefited from it. But now, physically, he is, has really committed the workout and eating habits, all of his body's changed. And he's playing. Well, his summer play was pretty good. He's playing pretty good basketball coach now. Just hope it's a nice carry over to the, when it really starts. Well, again, we have a number of guys now that can score the basketball. It's just doing it the right way and and making sure you don't run off and leave your teammates. I mean, it's still a team game, but Kanan has come in and shown that he can defend on the ball and he can score a little bit for us. So that's a bonus, uh, I think. Uh, you know, Miles has, has shown that you know, we know what Trey is. is Capable of doing, we just got to get him back healthy and 100% playing. But I mean, I like the pieces that we have, and everybody's working to try to do the right thing. So, I mean, that's kind of nice to see. Well, again, that was something we were recruiting that I talked to him about. I mean, we got to have leadership. That position requires leadership. You know, I mean, you got to de demand respect from your players, and then the players got to respect what you do on the floor. And uh, Miles has been a nice addition because he's a game changer, you know, with his ability to push the ball up and down the floor and make shots. Again, I got to get him where he doesn't go off, run off, and leave everybody behind. You know, I mean, he still has other guys on the floor around him, but he's got to try to make better as well. Miles just talked to you about the Cowboys. Yeah, I mean, our Cowboys are struggling a little bit right now, <laughs> but he's a big Cowboy guy too, and, and we kind of hiding a little bit, trying to get our team back on track. Miles has talked about how he thinks it's important to be an extension of you on the market. Have you had those kind of special competition? What you like? Well, you know, this summer I kind of, you know, in summer play, we, I just kind of watched and tried to let these guys bond and get to know one another. They did a lot of things off the court. Uh, and then I just watched him play. And, yeah, you do have, you know, point guards do have to be an extension of the head coach. Uh, you know, I, I go back to my NBA. Fino was a good extension. You know, I, when I recruited Fino, I knew what I was getting. Man, but he had to learn and grow as a freshman. You know, because again, make no mistake about it, the college game is different than AAU and high school basketball. So, uh, yes, he's got to be an extension. You know, I mean, I've had some pretty good point guards that I've had the opportunity to coach at the high level. Kid, Jason Kidd probably being him and Chris Paul sitting at the top in that regard, they have to be an extension of the coach. There's a lot of talk about the players that came out how much fun they have on the floor. I think that's unique. This year's team more so than the first Yes, it is unique. Um, because you know, I think when you add, you know, the first year, I think we added four or five players. The year after that was about four or five. And then last year, we added, I think, seven. Players now this year seven. So 
I think it goes a long way. You're talking about getting together. I mean, they've done so much pick from picnics to bowling, fishing, you name it, they've done it. And, you know, I, I try to stay out of the way to let them kind of be themselves. And, uh, and I think it's been great so far. One thing that you mentioned that you were kind of strange in that process of trying to make a list of batting um, guys. It's important. It's it's like my NBA days. You know, if, if I made moves around Carmelo Anthony, which I made that last year that we were really good and won the division, I made eight moves, personnel moves around him, Amari, and Tyson Chandler. So you have to sit them down and include them. They like to know who you're going to bring in. Uh, you know, Gallo had his list of guys, and, and we struck out on some of his guys. But the one guy he did have on the list was Goody, Luke. And, you know, we didn't make any moves on Luke until, you know, he decided he wanted to go in the portal. But we kind of treated, you know, the, the portal system when we started the journey this this summer right after the season like we do in the NBA. You know, we put a, a group of guys that we think can help us and you go out and you try to recruit them. That doesn't mean you're going to get them. I mean, I struck out on a lot of guys. Some of the guys like Bryce and Tucker and Molo kind of fell in our laps and we were able to close the schools. Huh? Well, Trey was, you know, Trey has a, you know, he gets that latitude. He's been with me from day one. I and mean, with Anthony, are the two last survivors, basically, you know, when I came in here. They also were the two that didn't raise their hand when I asked who was going to stay on board. But now they're still with me, so that's a nice thing. About the portal? Oh, well, he. He's played against him. He's competed against him at Illinois. I mean, he can't can shoot the ball. And, um, and he's he's been everything we thought he was, you know, coming over. So it's, it's, nice, it's a nice addition to our ball club. You were coaching the Virginia State 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 Virginia well, again, the guys, you know, Brad did a hell of a job with them. And all that. They won there. I think he won a Big Ten title in the playoffs. So, you know, he brings leadership experience, which we need, like Miles and Kane and Bryson and Gabe. These guys are all young players. So you're going to need leadership at the top to direct traffic to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. Coached at the NBA level for a while. Is there any player you coach or even just seen that Miles kind of reminds you? Well, I got a little obvious in overtime. You know, I coached Allen and Philip. Uh, there's a little, there's a little Iris in overtime in terms of how he plays a little bit. And Allen is, I think pound for pound, Allen Iverson is the best man scorer that's ever played for the NBA. I think. Talked about why the play fast this season. It's very important. I mean, you know, we've been trying to get there. I mean, I thought I had it when I had Jalen and X. I can't think of who the other point guard we had at that time. We had a couple of Tennessee and uh, we had one more Kennedy and the other guy. Left. But anyway, it, it's, you know, when you look at college basketball, Teams are winning in the back of them. They're winning shooting the basketball. And I think we've addressed a lot of those problems. The only time we'll tell once we start playing to see where we are as a ball club. Yeah, well, but we didn't we didn't run a whole lot for for no goody we will. You know, because the makeup of our team is totally different. I mean, we were, you know, we was trace tracks and driven uh, at that particular time early on. 
even though we ran more pick and rolls than we did post the ball. I mean, you guys probably don't realize that, but we did. The last few years, we've done more pick and rolls. But you got to have shooters around pick and rolls for it to be really effective. You know? So we'll do combinations of sets and you know, open the court up a little bit. That's kind of how we do He's doing fine. You know, no, he can't go every day. We, and that's because we won't allow him to go every day. You know, we basically are slow walking him back. But the days he's been out there, he's been pretty impressive. Probably the best explosive athlete on our team in terms of playing above the rim. He's it's, it's scary out of the in that regard. But we just got to get him back fully healthy. And he's not there yet. Well, again, a lot of it's going to depend on Malik has stepped out. You know, Malik has been playing out on the floor a lot. But the this summer's playing out in so many. And, and he consistently makes some things for us. You know, if he takes two or three, can he just at least make one? You know, because we got enough. We're shooting them. The number of threes now, as I speak, you guys are probably happy about that. But you still got to make it. Um, but, you know, it'll, it will allow us, you know, he can still play on the whole so you know, we take ball a lot and play some five, and then we can really go small with Mac and Goody to play together. But they, 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 they're our two best shooters right now in terms of shooting. The game has been shooting well. Miles and Kane can score on the ball well. So, I mean, I, you know, I think we'll have enough scoring. My concern still is on the defensive end. But I just know that for you, you win at a high level. It's never really been since we your balance schedule that you put the most of as a player in the Big Ten, but obviously it's about as unbalanced as it's been in terms of how often you play teams, who plays who win. How do you navigate a conference where you see so many points? Twice, a travel considerations. Just things are, are so kind of different. It's like the NBA, man. The quicker you can get your team. I remember back in the early days when I played, you know, we used to go west and play six teams. And you would struggle probably those first two or three games because you weren't acclimated to making that long travel. I think as quickly as we can get guys adjusted when we go back west, because they're going to have the same problems coming east. You know, the quicker you can get your team to adjust on those long travels, the better you're going to be as a basketball team. And, you know, the 18 teams is what it is now. I think it was 10 teams. I think, hey, man, you got to come and play. You know, because every team is well coached and the talent level is off the charts I mean, across the board. So, you know, you just got to, can't take no nights off. It's kind of how I look at it. Totally agree. You know, he's kind of reminds me of Fino a little bit. You know, in terms of uh, it's just his demeanor. And, you know, I think a lot of that was is because he didn't play AU ball. Daddy kept him, mama kept him away from him. He just basically trained the old fashioned. And you know, it's been a nice carryover for him. Now, does he have a a lot of things to learn. They all do. But boy, he's he's shown in an early stage right now that he belongs. Guys like Yeah, I mean, I got a lot of flexibility. My, my problem now is who's going to play. Well, we got enough talent, you know. And, and It'll be based on what you do. You know, you got to come with, when you get put in the game, you got to play. You know, you got to produce. How much about No, it's going to be just practicing. We're trying different combinations. Uh, you know, we'll have a couple tune up games with Marion and Tennessee, which I think the Tennessee game will be a test for us because. Orange is a hell of a coach, man. We've always put out good teams, and they, 
they'll probably be ranked this year too as well. So, you know, he's kind of looking forward to it as well as I am, just to kind of see where our team goes. Small ball. Not yet. You know, we're still we're still tinkering with that. So I have no idea at this point. A lot of it depends on who's in power trouble. You know, you got to look at that. So. Yeah, you got to keep working. You know, practicing. Um, watching film, you know, it all goes hand in hand, man. It's not easy. I mean, I've done it in, I did it in Atlanta and I did it in New York, you know, and the best players will rise to the top and force you to play them. And unfortunately, you know, I can't play everybody. So got to keep competing to see who's going to play. <laughs> Well, I mean, again, you just play defense, rebound the ball, be unselfish offensively, help somebody else be better offensively. I mean, there's a lot of things that determine, determine that. Uh, and practices, have, they've been very, very competitive. Very Very competitive. Don't know. No more. Only time will tell. And that's plenty. You know, he doesn't have to play 30 minutes, not on this team. Um, so, I mean, the fact that he's only played about 25 minutes, hey, we might keep him at that number. You know I, mean? I don't think Ballo's ever complained about one thing since he's been with us. He just wants to win. Miles is talking about I that's what we that's what we we do as a team. I mean when you lose Xavier who was great at that, Gabe became pretty good at it. You know, I mean, now you got Gabe, Kane and Amber that can press up along with Bryce that can allow me and Gallo that can allow you to move out up the floor and do some things different to do Say that again. Well, the good thing is, you know, you got some pieces back that you're familiar with. Uh, I don't know what uncertain is that. My thing is, I just think that we got to come out blazing. We got to come out playing at a high level. And there's no reason why we should. It's kind of hard. You know, last year we had some, We won a lot of close games early. This team that, you know, everybody thought we should have just blown them out of the gym. But we could have lost those games and those guys in the leadership. The guy along is. Kenzie, they found ways to win the way of the And I'm just hoping this year that we don't put ourselves in that position. We got to come out and play truly at a high level for 40 minutes this game. But, it's the conditional play is the major role, but your style got to change a little bit too. You got to be open. And, and I don't like turning the ball over, but you know, you might have experience some turnovers and you gotta give them a little leeway and not, you know, be so forceful because they turn it over because they're playing so fast. But that's the that's the downside of playing fast but you can also turn it over a lot. Uh he'll block shots but not at that level like they those guys do where it was longer, traces, more explosive. Um, but it took them some time. I mean, again, Ballos has blocked shots and shown he could do that. So, uh, 
He's a big body that can play the hundred, and he understands the defensive concepts. So, I'm pretty happy about that. All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Yep.